So I want to start with a sort of a level setting question. This is actually a question that was submitted by um, one of our guests um, via the survey that I sent out. Um, and it may seem like a basic question, but I think it will help to start the discussion. Um, and the question was why, or it, first of all, is it necessary to integrate IoT and AR into the curriculum in the university or in the, your education institution, and why? So I think I'll start, uh, Horst, if you wouldn't mind taking that question, starting there. Um, yes, absolutely. Uh, there is no way around that. AR is not coming, it's here. Um, IoT is not coming, it's here. Um, the possibilities, like in this beautiful um, um, transformation center here, are shown perfectly what, what capabilities you get when you use those technologies, and more of that, of course. But um, uh, up to a certain point, it's absolutely necessary to bring them together with the concept of IoT, the potential of IoT, to make them understand the possibilities and, and the pot potential that's there. For instance, we use um, small microprocessors and, and wireless LAN and Wi-Fi chips and sensors in, an, in an, um, a project our students are doing in our master course. And they get the hardware, they get a ThingWorks account, and they have to come up with a business model for using that sensor technology to bring it to an IoT application for a certain device they can choose. But they have to come up with a business case for that. So to think of um, easy possibilities with just the sensor information or two sensor information in combination, having them um, online and an IoT application and how to gain profit of that. That's quite interesting what results we are achieving there. <laughs> So is it necessary to teach IoT and AR and why? Yes, necessary. But um, if we think IoT is just a way of collection, a uh, big amount of, uh, I'm sorry, a uh, big amount of data, uh, it's a shallow understanding. Uh, I mean, a, if uh, we think uh, cyber physical systems, just the application of computer graphics, it's too shallow. But if We'd like to meet a real problem, and uh, it might be a good, very uh, good target of education. We must cope with a practical and actual. We must cope with the real world. I think so. Uh, looking at the uh, example in uh, database education, uh, to increase the performance of database in university classes. Only a very simple example was shown to students, and the students couldn't understand the real reason why it is necessary. But so performance is very, very serious problem, but students couldn't understand. But if they go goes out from the university and actually uh, started to develop a good database, then they seriously think that the performance is really important. Like that, as for IoT, um, they must meet uh, with the uh, practical problem. To do this, my guess is the collaboration between industries and academia university is absolutely necessary. Otherwise, we can't be ready to provide a good example to students. So the, we must get over exceed the boundary between industry and academia. That's my guess. That actually leads very nicely into a follow-on question that was submitted is, how should industry and academia partner together to bring IoT and AR into the classroom? So you can speak about how you're already doing it or ideas that you'd like to share for doing it in future. So Benoit, since you have the uh, microphone, I'll let you <laughs> take the first cut. Okay. Uh, then the, the challenge to, to mix uh, and uh, improve cooperation between academics and uh, industry, it's uh, fundamental to improve uh, the delivery of um, the content we offer to our students because uh, it's the um, industry is changing a lot as we mentioned and new technologies arrive each six months there is a new subject and to make the right choice it's important to mix the the viewpoints of academics because they have their scientific 
background and industry because they are faced to a technological challenge. And with this mix of the scientific background and uh, understanding of the te technological challenge, we can uh, make the right decision making on which subject to introduce to students. So IoT and uh, augmented reality are coming uh, rapidly on uh, on the um, on the floor to be uh, promoted and uh, to be uh, teach to our students. Then we focus on this uh, subject because uh, it's allowed to mix uh, the information we collect from uh, real device, real uh, uh, equipments, and uh, the three um, D modeling already existing in uh, the, uh, the classroom, then it's allowed to, to mix information and to get a better understanding of the use of the technology. Um, I know in my experience, as I've worked with particularly mechanical engineering faculty, the typical attitude is that the technologies are tools and that we don't teach tools in the classroom, we teach theory and then the students will pick up the tools when they get into industry. And, uh, and, and the problem is, is that the world has become so digital that the tools are defining the strategies. And if you don't teach the tools along with the strategies, you really have a gap in, in the education. Um, so I think there has to be a change in academe and their attitude towards how they prepare curriculum and teach uh, this new digital world. But there's also this issue that currently, if you look at how most universities are teaching IoT, it's focused on small devices like Raspberry Pis. We get the students on there, the students see it, it's cool, but it's a toy. And you have to give them context so that they understand why it's important to learn about IoT and AR, and that's where industry really provides that capability, but we haven't done a good job of figuring out how industry can connect into the classroom, particularly because the university is on a totally different time schedule or cycle than industry is. And, uh, and figuring out how to, to bring that together is really, I think, the challenge that we face. Uh, the industry in Austria is characterized by a lot of small or medium-sized enterprises, and they know that uh, IoT is, is a big topic, uh, but they really do not know where to start and they do not have the capability and they do not have the money. And I uh, only can agree with you that um, my education was the same thing. There were theory and the tools were somewhere out. And uh, we really changed this, I think every one of us did, uh, that we brought in the tools and we used the tools in classroom. And this enables us to help the, especially the small and medium-sized companies to come with their problems and to build up some prototypes, to do some design thinking workshops, for example, where they can apply this technology just to get the feeling and get the glue of what can be done. And this is very helpful for the industry as well as for the students. And they really can apply uh, the tools and it's not very difficult to make the students enthusiastic about the tools because they can use their smartphones and they love them. And uh, so uh, it's, it's, it's very easy to, to, wor to work with them in that direction. And it's very easy for the companies as well 